Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my makeup collection. I've had requests to do this, I feel like, over the last year or so. I know when I put my beauty room tour up and then I periodically get those requests as well. So I figured now would be a perfect time. I just wanted to let you guys know that I do not have massive amounts of makeup. And about like a year to two years ago, I put the brakes on buying makeup because I just did not see a point to keep buying makeup. I only buy it when I need it now now and like the makeup comes out so frequently it's like you'd have to be you know a millionaire to keep up with everything so you know I only buy what I need now and I feel like I have a good amount and just to let you know like just to show you guys like how I don't buy as much makeup anymore only what I need the last eyeshadow palette I bought was the Jaclyn Hill palette which I feel like came out two years ago and um the Sweet Peach palette so that's going a ways back but you can only have so many eyeshadow palettes and so many colors I feel like I probably have every single eyeshadow color that there is that I would need so yeah I just wanted to mention that I don't have masses massive amounts of makeup but you know the makeup that I do have I love and I use so anyways don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and the notification bell down below and without further ado if you guys would like to see my makeup collection then just keep watching okay so you guys have probably seen this before this is my beauty room slash filming room as you guys can see the filming equipment over there I quickly just wanted to show you guys this I do have a beauty room tour I will link down below. So before we get into most of my makeup, I do have makeup on my Ikea lac shelves and brushes, so I just quickly wanted to give them a shout out. So I have a lot of MAC lipsticks that I don't use on an everyday basis in here, and I just have them sitting in this nice lipstick holder. It's more for like decor purposes, but a lot of these lipsticks are the ones that I don't use on an everyday basis. So this one is Ruby Woo. Actually, I like need to use that one around the holidays because every year I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wear a red lipstick, and I don't. I think I have like a lot of plum shades. This is a Morris. I think I have Plumful. I know I have Mac Myth in there somewhere and um or I might have even given that to my sister. That's Matt Craving. Candy Yum Yum. That's like a really hot pink color. And let's see, Twig. Um, Twig I use more in the fall. So yeah, I have some MAC lipsticks that I don't use on an everyday basis sitting right there. And right here, we've got a whole jar of ColourPop liquid lipsticks on display here. I mean, if I had a guess, I'd say there's like 20 or 30 in there. It is a lot. Do you guys remember the days when these liquid lipsticks were the thing and they were so popular? clearly you can tell because I purchased so many honestly I don't even use I don't even use them anymore you guys like maybe like once every blue moon I'll use like a color pop liquid lipstick I kind of don't really wear liquid lipstick anymore but anyway so I decided to throw them all in this jar and I think it looks really nice so right here is pretty much where a lot of my everyday items are so on top here we have most of my brushes that I use on an everyday basis a lot of the face brushes, like all of these brushes, I pretty much use almost on an everyday basis. A lot of these eyeshadow brushes I don't use on an everyday basis. I have a lot of blending brushes in here and stuff like that, but I just keep them in there anyways. So, um, you know, we've got like the NARS Eda brush right there. And I actually, you know, um, in the summer, in the spring and summer months, I don't contour as much. So I'm not using that as much. You know, a lot of these are Morphe, like, um, let's see, this is the Morphe R2 brush. I use this for applying bronzer. This is like my setting powder brush. This is the Morphe E2. And then, you know, we just have a lot of like random brushes in here. So um, on display here, I have the Tartlet and then the Tartlet in Bloom palette just sitting there nicely. Uh, I don't use these on an every, everyday basis, but when I do travel, I do like to bring either one of these palettes because they're small, they're compact, and they don't take up a lot of room, and they have pretty much every color I would need to create a look. So underneath all the brushes, this opens up, and I honestly don't even know the last time I opened this up. This section of this whole entire makeup uh, organization container the top, I don't use. I just use it for storage. But I've got the Naked 3 palette. This is the only Urban Decay eyeshadow palette that I own. And, um, you know, I don't know. This probably has got to be at least, like, four years old. But anyways, I've got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. I actually need to start using these, especially for the spring and the summer. I do like these. I have it in Sun Dipped and That Glow. I also have the Nicole Guerrero one as well, but that's sitting somewhere else. So these I do love. I have to like start using them again. It's just like I have so many highlighters at this point. Um, I've got this Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. And then this actually came, I ordered BoxyCharm 
I signed up for it and I think I did it in September. That was the only month I did it and I canceled immediately. I was not like a fan at all of BoxyCharm and you kind of can't customize it um, to my knowledge. I don't think you can. Everybody gets the same products. Hence the fact I got this palette. It's the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette. Um, those are not everyday colors. I don't even know what I would do with that. So that just sits there. You know, eventually I could give it away to like one of my family members. So I just have that sitting there. And then I have like a deck of Scarlet palette right there. So moving on to the first drawer and I do apologize, you know, I should probably do like some kind of declutter video because it's kind of looking like a hot mess in here. But this is all pretty much lip products. So this whole container here is just liquid lipsticks again i've got some nyx lingerie those are like old those are like a couple years old i remember when those are big i think this is like a brand new one i have some morphe liquid lipsticks in there i used to love the more this color right here i used to love what is it um unsettled that was like my favorite morphe liquid lipstick color but again like i said i don't really wear liquid lipsticks as much as i used to um, and I just feel like I, they get drying again. I don't know. It's weird. When you don't wear them for a while and you wear them again, you're just like, oh, they're drying. This was actually one of my favorites as well. This is Stila, I think, Patina. And that's a really good liquid lipstick. I think I have, I don't know if this Ofra one is a liquid lipstick. But what I wanted to mention, oh, I also have like a ton of color pops in here as well, you guys. I still have like color pop ones on the bottom. But also, um, I did want to mention that when I do wear liquid lipsticks, um, you're going to catch me pretty much in like these two colors here by the bomb. The bomb me Matt Hughes line of liquid lipsticks, you guys, I think probably has like one of the best formulas. They're not drying at all and they're creamy. And I know I get a lot of comments on my videos. What lip color are you wearing? What lip color are you wearing? It's this one right here, you guys. It's um, the Meet Matt Hughes in the color Sincere. And then this also is a nice color too. It's a little similar to that one. It's the shade Committed. So those are really great liquid lipsticks. I would highly recommend them. Then I have just some random stuff in here. I've got some lip liners. I think I have like a small um, Maxor lip liner. I actually have a brand new one once this one runs out because it's looking pretty small. And then I have some of my everyday MAC lipsticks scattered throughout here. And I would open them up and show you guys, but I am filming so I only have one hand but anyways I believe this one is Cosmo and then this one is Mac Mer. this one I use a lot this one I actually wore on my wedding day but the two like everyday colors and one of them might be in my purse is going to be Mac Brave that's one of my favorites with sore lip liner and then Mac Faux I don't know if Mac Faux is over here um, no, this is pink plaid. Actually, that's like a really pale pink color. Mac faux is probably in my purse because I don't see it in here. I think this is something that I got in one of my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus bags. So I just keep it there. I have a few of these buxom lip glosses. I used to love, I mean, I still do love these lip glosses. I just like love the way they look on your lips and make your lips feel. It is like a cooling, tingling feeling. And I love like all the names of them. They all have like girl names. Like this one's Karen. And then I think somewhere... I have Kimberly if it's not in my purse. And um, here's like a lot of like these NYX butter glosses. Do you guys remember? Like these are like OG products, but they're still good. I know they're still sold. So back in the day, I used to like collect all of them. Okay, so moving on to this like hot mess of a drawer. This is all basically mascaras, eyeliners, anything pretty much eye related. So my everyday mascara right now is this Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I use this on my upper lashes and then for my lower lashes, Lashes. I go in with the L'Oreal telescopic. I believe I have another one as you can see right there But a lot of these are just like other, you know, actually I have two So I have like three L'Oreal telescopics just a lot of like random eye stuff I draw right here is foundations primers and concealers They're pretty much the ones that I use almost on an everyday basis There's some random ones in here like the L'Oreal infallible I don't use that as much and then the stream cushion. I just have sitting here I used to love this but it would dry out really quick but the two that I use every day, I've mentioned in a million videos, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. 
I love this foundation, you guys. It's like the best foundation ever and it's so affordable. It's under $5. So I'm going back and forth between these two shades right now. And then I've got the Smashbox Primer, Photo Finish Primer in there. The Makeup Step 1 Equalizer, um, Benefit Professionals. I just got this. I mentioned this in my Sephora and Ulta haul. There's some Becca primers there and then there's a Becca primer back there. And then I've got a whole bunch of concealers in here, but the ones that I love are this this is the new Too Faced um, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's like the thicker one. Um, as you guys can see right there, those were the first Too Faced Born This Way concealers they came out with. It's a lot thinner. This is definitely a better formula. This is the only shade I have. I wish I had a little bit lighter of a shade, but since we're kind of going into like spring and summer, I just held off because I know that I won't be using a lighter shade. This is the shade Natural Beige. And then I've got my um, Tarte Shape Tapes. You, you know, every girl's got to have these, but honestly, you guys, like this has replaced the Tarte Shape Tape and also too you really don't see these concealers talked about but these three right here the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealers these are great you guys like they don't look cakey underneath the eyes and I actually like these better than the Tarte Shape Tape so Basically what I'm using right now is the Too Faced and then these Urban Decay ones. And then I probably have some other random ones in there. There's like a Maybelline um, Fit Me. And then, yeah, so I just have some random concealers in there. And then I just have more brushes over there. Some of them I use every day, but I just keep them over there. And then I have like tweezers over there as well for when I apply eyelashes. Over here, this is my foundation brush. I don't know why I don't put it with my other brushes up there, but I kind of just keep it over here. This is the Tarte foundation brush. I love it. It's like their big kabuki brush. That's pretty much like an everyday brush for foundation that I use. I've got my All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay, everyday item. Mac Fix Plus is over here. And then this, I feel like for the summer, I'm definitely gonna use this. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. So this would be nice like underneath foundation or you could even use it kind of as a highlighter so I just have that sitting there I did just get this Huda I always have a hard time saying this you guys Huda Beauty I think this is their Mob Obsessions palette it's like a trout nice travel size palette I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag plus so I've been using this like for the last like week I really do like it so I just like leave it out there and over in this quarter disregard this little mouse pad here I just keep it there it's got a picture of me and my husband on our wedding day I keep my cat ears here for when I'm doing my makeup so I have my cat ears there my cat ear headbands excuse me and then I just have like a lot of beauty blenders just sitting in this nice little container there and then this is supposed to be like one of those like makeup wipe things but I don't really think they work that well to remove makeup so I just like keep it there and then there's just like another dirty um beauty blender right there moving on over to this makeup container a lot of this stuff is more just for like storage I don't use it on an everyday basis so we'll go to the top shelf do you guys remember the Milani blushes so I used to love these blushes I bought them in like every shade and then they had like the bigger ones these two over here so I gotta start using these again and I think I just have some random MAC blushes that are like the single ones over there so that that's those. And then to this drawer, we have all my Born This Way foundations. And I used to love these foundations, you guys, but honestly, again, the um the wet and wild one just takes over completely so i just keep all of these here i have like four different shades and then i have a really pale shade of the giorgio armani giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i honestly don't see what the hype is about this foundation but that's just my opinion so anyways i just keep that there that's that drawer and then moving on again like i have random things scattered i've got a lancome juicy tubes lip gloss i think this is another Becca lip gloss there. I have some Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. I've got the chocolate bar and then I've got the chocolate bonbons palette sitting there. I do use these not every day, but I do, you know, go back and forth between them. I've got this Tarte foundation here. It's the clay stick one. Honestly, I don't prefer these types of foundations. I like the liquid foundations like the Wet n Wild. I don't really prefer the stick ones. And then I have this Stila glitter eyeshadow. I think this is like in the shade Kitten Karma. I should probably start using that again, but I like really don't do much on my eyes anymore. I kind of just go really minimal. So then in this drawer, I just keep some random palettes stuffed in here. So this is the Violet Voss, Violet Voss, that's a ton twister. Holy Grail fun size palette. It's like another nice travel size palette. I believe I got this in, I think two months ago, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, 
but this is like a great palette especially for traveling because it's got pretty much every shade I would need to create a look so I just keep that there I have the modern renaissance palette which is a really nice palette I've got the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter um, palette right there and then I've got my sweet peach palette by Too Faced back there and then moving on to the last drawer I just have a couple things in here just actually two things I have this Tarte blush palette I think I got this two or three years ago around the holidays this is nice for traveling because then I don't have to pack a whole bunch of blushes this has like a wide variety of blushes in there so I pretty much just use that when I travel and then this is the bomb contour and highlight kit um, I think I did a review on that actually a couple years ago, but I don't really use that. It is a nice palette. Again, it's just I have so much that I don't use everything, but I, need to, I do need to dabble in that again. And quickly, I just wanted to mention my lack shelf on the left side of my desk. I've got this little lipstick tower, and it's got a lot of the Milani lipsticks. I remember like what, like four years ago, they were like super popular, and I used to be obsessed with them. So like I pretty much purchased them in like every shade. I've got some Maybelline lipsticks in here. Um, um, oh my god, I have like, what is that, Lime Crime? I have that in there. So yeah, it's just more like for storage, decorative purposes. So now we're going to get into the left side of my desk, all of these Alex drawers. Well, not every single drawer, but we're going to get into those. But quick, I just wanted to show you my coffee mug. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's caffeine. Love it. And yes, that is true. Okay, so let's get into the top shelf. Now, here I've got just some random beauty blenders again. I don't even know how I, you know, accumulated all these beauty blenders, but I honestly, like, there was a time where I used to use them every day. Right now, I just don't anymore. I'm back to using brushes. Um, I've just got some Q-tips in here. I do use Q-tips on an everyday basis. And then I think back here, let's see. This stuff's nice in, like, the spring and summertime or when you go on vacation if you want to have a nice glow. Uh, it's the Lumi Glotion by L'Oreal, so that's just randomly there. And then I've just got some random eyeshadow palettes here, but they're not random. They're randomly placed, but I use these pretty much every day. These two palettes I use on an everyday basis, I would say. You can obviously see that color right there. I'm hitting pan on. That's like one of my favorite colors. It's the color Sorbet. This is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. This is an old palette, but you guys, I love this palette. So I use this one almost on an everyday basis. And then I've got dun, 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 the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I keep that there as well. Um, so yeah, just my everyday palettes I keep right there. And this drawer is kind of exciting because it's my last drawer. So, um, I am back to just like using these Salon Perfect. Um, I believe they are their Demi Wispies. I love these, you guys. And I like honestly didn't really like fall in love with them until I want to say two months ago. These are nice everyday lashes. I'm not into like the big overwhelming lashes. And I used to, and I know I mentioned a million times these Kiss Blowout Lashes. Um, but they kind of are overwhelming and they're big and honestly, I like more natural looking lashes again. So these Salon Demi Wispies, Salon Perfect Demi Wispies are superb and I feel like the way that they're curved is just like perfect for my eye shape. I did just throw them away, but I was using the um, Kiss number 11s. They're nice too. I've worn them in a couple of my videos, but I feel like they're they're just like super arched and super curved that it's kind of hard to apply them to your lashes as opposed to these ones right here. I would highly, highly, highly recommend these. Um, you can wear them going somewhere and they don't look too overwhelming. But anyways, I have some of my other Kiss blowouts there and there. They're just different styles. I was obsessed with them at one point, but I just keep them there. Right here, the situation, this is magnetic lashes. I was cutting them and I don't even know what the situation is. One day I'm gonna try to reuse them again, but I just didn't have luck with them. I don't know how people get them to work. Let me know, do you guys um, have magnetic lashes? Have you gotten them to work? I sure as hell have not. Um, I don't know if it's something you have to practice. Then I just have some random, I have some individuals there. I think these are just stuff that I've maybe gotten in like boxes or um, ipsy boxes or whatever, or glam bags. And then I just have some other lashes there. So this is my lash drawer. So this drawer right here, I am in every single day, hence the fact it's like super organized. Um, but basically this is going to be everyday setting powders and everyday bronzers are gonna be on this side. I've got a lot of MAC setting powders. I've got some NYX setting powders in here. I do like these. These have lasted me a really long time. I use these on an everyday basis. They're HD setting powders. 
those. There's the Too Faced. A lot of these are the bronzers in there. And then I have that's um, Benefit Hula that I use for contouring. Um, I've got the Rimmel Setting Powder. This bronzer, you guys, like I had it and I like just like rediscovered it again. It's the Milani uh, Baked Bronzer. And I brought this on vacation with me and this is such a nice bronzer, you guys. I would highly recommend it. It's a drugstore bronzer, which is nice. This is another really nice drugstore bronzer. It's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. And I think this is the, it says Natural Radiance Bronzer. This one is phenomenal and I would compare it to Mac Give Me Sun, which is like sitting right there. This is just a drugstore version. It is a little bit more on the pricier side for drugstore bronzers, but it's great. I would definitely highly recommend that one. Oh my God, I gotta get it to like go back in. I've just got some, I've got a lot of like the bomb stuff in here. These are just like some of their bronzers in there um, and they're like contour shades in there, Bahama Mama, as you guys can see. And then this row right here is blushes and I have some random stuff back there. But again, like, I think, what is it? We got a Sigma blush back there. And then these are all like the bomb. Like this is Cabana Boy. I used to love that one. I still do. This is Down Boy. Um, this is Frat Boy. I just love the names of them. They're just so awesome. Um, and this one is Bomb Springs. This one I think I got like a year ago. So that's like relatively new. And then I have another down boy there. So yeah, I have a lot of my um, bomb blushes there. These are, that's like a Tarte full-size blush. And then I have two of the Tarte travel size blushes. I believe I got in Ipsy bags. These are nice too to take when I'm traveling because they're really small. Um, I think this is like Snapdragon by Becca. That's just another blush. Then I have tons of NARS blushes sitting right here. Um, I think the oldest one I have is Orgasm. That's probably, I don't know, four or five years old. I still use it, you guys. I mean, I, I still think it, it, it does the job. I know, like, isn't the rule, like, you're supposed to throw makeup out every two years? I don't know. I mean, I'm not about to throw, I'm not about to throw makeup out every two years, especially if I can still use it. Um, but anyways, yeah. NARS blushes are phenomenal. And this NARS palette right here, it's the dual bronzer. It's Laguna and it is Casino, I believe. So I use these as like contour shades, not really bronzer shades. So I have that right there. And then if you guys can see back there, this is like old, I should use it again, but it was a really good product. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette. So I have that back there. It's just so big that I can't like fit it anywhere in here. And then when I do um, bake, you guys know what baking is. Um, I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and then I have my little cosmetic wedge right there. And then right here in this side, this is all highlighters. This is reserved for highlighters. This is just a random one I think I got in an Ipsy bag that I just stuffed there. Um, I have, what is this one? Oh, I love this one. This is the Becca Opal, I believe. Love that one. And then I've got a lot of the bomb ones are right there. Actually all three, Betty Luminizer, Cindy Luminizer. And I think they came out with a new one, um, this one right here the bonnie luminizer that's their newest one so i have those there i have two of the wet and wild highlighters there um what's this one here oh that's a ofra one there and then this is so og you guys it's soft and gentle by mac i have that sitting right there and then right here these i kind of gravitate towards more this is an Ofra um, shade. I think I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus a couple months ago, but it's Rodeo Drive. I know this is like a really popular Ofra highlighter. That's what it looks like. It's super beautiful. And I know for like the summer months, this is definitely gonna get used like almost every day. And then let's see, what else do we have here? I believe this is a Morphe highlighter. This one's nice as well. It's, um, I think the shade Extra. But like my everyday, everyday lately, and I know I've mentioned this before, is the Amreezy highlighter. That's what the Amreezy highlighter looks like. It's so beautiful. I use it like almost every day. That's like pretty much the one that I used almost every day is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlighter. So that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any of the same products that I do, some of the older ones, some of the newer ones. And also let me know, do you guys wanna see a declutter video? I would primarily be doing a declutter of like this drawer right here. I mean, I can probably go through some stuff in there as well. Let me know if you guys would like to see that video. It's probably overdue. I probably should do it because this side's obviously a lot more organized than that side. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.